You see it? That is great. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise as you have allowed us yet another day to live out our purpose and destiny. We do not take our blessings for granted, especially during the uncertain times that we are living in. Father, thank you for allowing today's graduates to see the fruits of their labor come full circle. Thank you for keeping them safe throughout their tenure at Bermuda College. Father, we ask that you continue to lead, guide, and protect these graduates as they venture into the next phases of their lives. Help them to retain what was learned at Bermuda College and enable them to apply their newfound knowledge and skills wherever life leads them. Lord, bless every Bermuda College employee who impacted the lives of these graduates. Continue to keep the entire Bermuda College family safe. Finally, Father, we ask that you remain in the midst of today's celebration. All these things we ask in your practice and in your name. Amen. Amen. Good afternoon, and thank you, Ms. Simons, for that prayer. To the Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. Peter Souza, to our commencement speaker, Mrs. Dejanay at Hill Edwards, the graduate speaker, Ms. Christina Boros in absentia, who is working virtually. Our Vice President of Academic and Student Affairs, Dr. Phyllis Curtis Tweed. Dean of Arts and Science, Ms. Tammy Richardson. Dean of Business, Hospitality and Technical Education, Ms. Latanya Roberts. Director of Nursing and Allied Health, Ms. Kathy Ann Swan. Bermuda College faculty and staff. Those viewing by Facebook and YouTube, today's illustrious honorees, the Winter Class of 2021. Welcome to Bermuda College's Winter Commencement Ceremony. Today we celebrate 24 BC graduates and acknowledge 19 graduates from our external partners, program partners, who received their certificates from their respective institutions last semester. 12 from Framingham State University, one from Munson Vincent University, and six from the University of West Indies. Congratulations to all of you. Winter class of 2021, the path you have traveled to reach this milestone is not traveled alone. So before I address you this afternoon, I want to take the opportunity to thank the dedicated and committed staff of the Bermuda College for the assistance they have provided to you along your journey with us. Your family members and other support systems are also owed a debt of gratitude for the support and encouragement they have provided you along the way. Although they are not physically present, I know many are watching virtually, so graduates, join me in giving them a big round of applause <laughs> for all that they have done in assisting you to reach this milestone. Graduates, I realize that your last three semesters with us were not what you signed up for when you joined the Bermuda College family. But despite the challenges of remote learning, COVID testing, and fluid health and safety protocols, 
you made it to today. As we celebrate each of your achievements, I want to briefly reflect on their significance and the lessons as we navigated this unpredictable pandemic landscape together. Lessons that I believe will carry you through the next phase of your life's journey. Number one, we learn to appreciate the moment. Prior to 2020, it seemed everyone was rushing towards the future with the doubts of our goals and objectives permanently set on fast forward. We couldn't wait to get there and wherever there was, it couldn't come fast enough. There was always the anticipation of the next move. We had a hard time staying in the moment because we were already moving towards the next moment so that we could be closer to there. In early 2020, we learned to, or should I say we were forced to, slow down and appreciate the little things in life. We learned to recalibrate, refocus, readjust, stay home, eat in, and of course, we all learned how to zoom in. We learned to appreci appreciate the great outdoors and the, one, the half mile distance from our homes. We learned to appreciate time spent with family and friends. And found, we found new rhythms, new meaning, and new balance in our lives. Number two, we learned that change is constant. Over the past two years, adaptability became a new skill required to survive. For us at Bermuda College, we had to pivot to remote learning and working from home virtually overnight. Even this week, as we planned this ceremony, we had to adapt to changes and unforeseen circumstances, and we needed to pivot. As students, you adjusted, readjusted, dug deep, and pressed on. And we were right behind you and beside you making it work. We found new resources and optimized existing ones. It was time for creativity, new solutions, for discovering what we did not, what did not work, and for developing new approaches for what did. We learned adaptability and agility are a dynamic duo to not only survive, but to thrive. Number three, we learn to be resilient. The theme for Monday evening's nursing graduates pinning ceremony was resilience. Just as they were reminded of the resilience they demonstrated in making it through their studies in the midst of the once in a lifetime pandemic, you too have demonstrated that resilience. Your presence here this afternoon is a testament of the fact that you did not just overcome the pandemic, you moved beyond it. You did, not, you did not allow it to hinder you from reaching this milestone. To say that the past two years have been more than challenging, more challenging than any ever experience would be an understatement. And we are all eager for this pandemic to be behind us. But unfortunately, class of 2021, you will now enter a workplace or move on to higher education that has been reconfigured by this pandemic. Working from home, now known as WFH, virtual <clears throat> meetings on Zoom, Teams, or WebEx, remote learning and webinars, COVID testing, mask, health protocols, and restrictions as well as concerns about the rippling effects of climate change are all on our doorstep. There is a new path of discovery that has been thrust upon you, indeed on all of us, and it is up to you to help create the kind of future that despite the uncertainty remains exciting, promising, and bright. Are you up to the challenge? We at Bermuda College believe you are. And today we confidently hand over the baton to you to forge the next steps of your journey in this new landscape. So winter class of 2021, as you reflect on the culmination of this chapter of your life story, 
I encourage you to appreciate this moment and learn, grow, and act on all the lessons you have learned along the way. As you carefully and confidently prepare to take your next step, embrace the future. Always remember that change is constant. Be resilient, adapt with agility, continue to learn and look for and create new opportunities as you go. The future is full of possibilities and it is yours to create. All the best class of 20, winter class of 2021. As our motto says, magnum verbilio pretende, great and wonderful things are for two. Thank you. I now have the honor of introducing our commencement speaker, Ms. Dejanay Hill Edwards. Ms. Hill Edwards has had many accomplishments in her young life that can be found in the bio in your program. These include being one of Bermuda College's first dual enrollment graduates, having graduated with both her high school diploma from the Barclay Institute and her associate in business degree from Bermuda College in 2016. After completing her studies locally, she transferred to St. John's University with advanced standing and where she graduated and earned her Bachelor's of Science in Quantitative Risk and Insurance. She then moved to London to attend the Bayes Business School, formerly CAS, where she earned her Master's of Science in Corporate Finance. Dejanay is currently an underwriting assisting on the property DNF team at Arch Reinsurance Limited. Dejanay describes herself as independent, driven, and determined, and lives by the personal mentor, you are destined for greatness. Based on her accomplishments, I would say she's definitely on a journey to greatness. Ms. Hill Edwards, I invite you to address the Bermuda College winter graduates and their guests. protocol already established, good afternoon. At a young age, I developed what some may describe as an inquisitive spirit. Any member of my family can attest. My favorite thing to do as a child was ask the question, why? Unbeknown to me, I was preparing myself for a future career where it is essential to understand answers to the question why. And this is where my journey to purpose began. Graduates, my message to you today is centered around your journey to purpose. The answer to your question, why? COVID-19 changed life as we knew it. The entire globe had to adapt to a new normal. Like you, I too had to complete my studies during a global pandemic, as if school wasn't difficult enough. I was quickly facing the reality of starting my career during a time where it was uncertain whether I could even leave my home. In the process of applying for positions, I sat and reflected on what I needed out of my career as I ventured into the next phase of my life. As I sat and reflected on what I wanted out of my future career, it became clear. One, an opportunity for growth, and two, a supportive environment and team. These were important to me. I needed to be able to balance my eagerness to learn with the capacity to allow my vulnerability to show by making mistakes. I wanted to be intentional about where I began my career. I was blessed to receive an opportunity to begin my career at an amazing company. 14 months in, and I can truly say, I love what I do. I am currently on a path to excel, surrounded by a team who support and challenge each other to learn. Now, in this stage of my journey to purpose, I'm reflecting on my future. The silver lining of the COVID-19 pandemic is that it has allowed us to have more time to deeper reflect. Too often, we get caught in a cycle of forward thinking, what will happen next? Forgetting that understanding the past is the key to understanding the present, which in turn shapes our future. 
I found myself reflecting on my legacy. What would be my impact in this world? Many opportunities have been afforded to me through my career journey thus far. I am able to represent Bermudians like myself and have the ability to empower and inspire others to embrace their why. The answer to your question why is what will drive you to achieve your goals and hopefully inspire others to. Take time to enjoy the journey, both the good and the bad. Celebrate yourself and appreciate the life lessons that will come out of the mistakes you will make. This is a valuable lesson I have learned. A meaningful part of my journey to purpose was allowing myself to fail. Understanding that from failure, there's opportunity to learn. As cliche as the same might be, you'll never know unless you try. However, my journey to purpose is not complete. Throughout my life, I've had to adapt and shift to the ever-changing world, but my intent and purpose never wavered. Ground yourself in your purpose. Be intentional in the choices that you make today as they shape the future you are building tomorrow. Challenge yourself every day to find opportunities to learn more about yourself and explore deeper into what drives you to continue on your journey. This is another one of the many key lessons I have learned in my journey to purpose. But remember, not one journey is the same, and that's okay. Your time at Bermuda College is a testament to exploring different paths and ultimately achieving this milestone today. Your journey to purpose has already begun. By choosing Bermuda College, you've made an intentional decision about your future. The intention of your journey is for you to grow into your purpose. We find growth in challenging situations that push us outside of our comfort zone. But it is in these moments that we grow and we deepen our understanding of our why. My challenge to you today is to be intentional about the journey you create for yourself as you grow into your purpose. Reflect on the skills you've acquired that will assist you along the way. Remember, success is never achieved alone. Utilize your support system around you and lean into the advice and wisdom of those who have come before you. As my journey to purpose continues, I want to be impactful, to inspire others to be great and grow into their purpose, no matter what it is. It excites me to know that you and I will have a part in shaping the future. Throughout my journey, things didn't always go according to plan. It is inevitable that you will face challenges on your journey to purpose that will feel as though you've been knocked off your path. Embrace those moments and learn from them. It is these moments in which your strongest growth will take place. To quote Roy T. Bennett, your hardest times often lead to the greatest moments of your life. My final words of advice to you today are to keep going. Tough situations build strong people in the end. Congratulations, Bermuda College Winter Class of 2021. I wish you continued success on your journey to purpose and as you embark into this next phase of your lives. Always remember, you are destined for greatness. Thank you. Mr. Edwards, thank you for those inspiring words. Madam President, on the recommendation of the respective dean and director, I present to you these students who, having satisfied their examiners and the requirements of Bermuda College's Academic Council, are eligible to receive associate degrees, certificates, and diplomas. Graduating class, please stand. And at this time, put your sashes on. On behalf of the Board of Governors, and by the authority vested in the Board by the Bermuda College Act, I present, I declare to you 
your associate degrees, certificates, and diplomas for which you have qualified with all the rights and privileges you may be seated. Good afternoon, Madam President. I have the absolute pleasure of presenting the graduates from the Division of Arts and Science. For the Associate of Arts, Art and Design, Ocasio Alberto. <laughs> Sarah Ardianja. Associate of Arts, Seth Gibbons. To May Talbot. Associate of Science, Gary Taylor, with distinction. Congratulations. <laughs> For the Associate of Science Education, Kaylee Lima, with merit. Madam President, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the Division of Arts and Science. Madam President, I have the distinct honor and pleasure of presenting the following graduates from the Division of Business, Hospitality, and Technical Education. Certificate for Accountant Technician, Rose Davis, with Mary. Diploma in Culinary Arts, Dakari Hollis. <laughs> Associate of Applied Science, Culinary Arts, Alanijah Easton Washington.
Associate of Applied Science, Hospitality Management, Christopher Ricker. Associate of Applied Science, Hospitality Management, Tariqe Richardson. Associate of Arts, Business Administration, Kyrie Oboy. Christina Burroughs, the graduate speaker. <laughs> Associate of Science, Computer Information Systems, Kionde Tuesday. Tuzo. <laughs> Madam President, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the Division of Business, Hospitality, and Technical Education. Madam President, it is my distinct honor and pleasure of presenting to the following graduates from the Division of Nursing and Ally, and Ally Health. Octavia Alzario. Jakia Berlin. <laughs> Crystal Kill with Merrick. Mill Otterbridge with Mallet. <laughs> Rihanna Russell. Maury Venture with distinction. <laughs> Madam President, that concludes the presentation of graduates of the Division of Nursing and Allied Health. Graduates, please stand. Please move your tassels from right to left. With this act, you are now graduates of Bermuda College. <laughs> It is 
It's now my pleasure to present Ms. Christina Burroughs, 2021 graduate, to give the graduate address. Her bio is in the program. Unfortunately, she will be doing this in absentia via audio. Ms. Burroughs, I invite you to address your fellow graduates. Greetings to the Bermuda College faculty, family, and fellow graduates of 2021. Unfortunately, I will not be there physically, but I am there spiritually. It's my honor today to deliver the commencement address for this incredible student body. Despite the odds, success is still inevitable. I believe we as a whole have exemplified this statement. Our time spent at Bermuda College is something that we will never forget. Class of 2021, we've made it. Despite the numerous obstacles that challenged us during our journey, we've still persevered. Whether these barriers are considered to have been financial hardship, family disputes, mental or physical health issues, the struggle of online learning, the stress of COVID-19, and other implications brought to us, my fellow graduates, despite the odds, success was still inevitable. In many instances, we are our biggest critics. We sometimes don't trust the process. We doubt our worth and capabilities. We fear risk, fear success, and the unknown. A wise pastor has once said, fear is a spirit. It comes to paralyze you, bind you, restrict you. For years, I've allowed fear to be one of the biggest influences in my life. Fear of not meeting that deadline, rejection, the word no, fear of saying the wrong thing, and at times I fear success and actually achieving that goal. Fear has helped me, has definitely helped me back from many opportunities until one day I told myself that this is enough. I say all of this to say, my fellow graduates, let's live life, let's prioritize the value of life and bring the and break the habit of allowing fear to stop great opportunities. Let's break those barriers of procrastination, self-doubt, and second guessing. There is no excuse acceptable. Turn your fears into motivation. Class of 2021, today marks the end of yet another extraordinary chapter in our lives. Wherever your future takes you, always remember to show gratitude manifest and to walk with assurance you've got this wake up every morning and decide to be the best that you can be before i end my speech i would like to thank the bermuda college faculty i would like to give thanks to the strong army of hard-working inspirational leaders that i have come into contact with throughout the years of my journey i would like to personally thank shalini johnston for helping me with the importance of local entrepreneurship and efficiency. Deshaun Doris for teaching me the importance of mental health. Patricia Croak, Mrs. and Mr. Simons, Justin Simons, and the lovely Katy Perry, Al Roberts, and Dr. Tweed for being my academic angels. My academic career changed the moment I walked into Dr. Tweed's office. If it wasn't for these three lovely ladies, I don't think I would have been here today. I almost gave up. I was at the lowest point of my life. My home at the time was toxic. I lost track of my purpose and was on academic probation. I hit rock bottom and I knew that failing wasn't an option. And at last, I would like to thank my biggest supporter, my mother, Jubilin Kalzade. Thank you so much for everything that you've done. Without you, I would not be here today. Today, my fellow graduates, our hard work will finally be rewarded. And let's not forget those who helped support us along the way. I say this to say, family, friends, and my fellow graduates, congratulations. And I welcome you into a new journey of even more success. Thank you.
get a hold of and breathe. Brush it off, down the strong child. The way you are, avoid the fall in the black heart. I pray to God that you go far, sweet child. I see you, you are. protocol already being established. Uh, let me first of all say good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wow, what a fantastic uh, song. Um, very emotional for me. Um, memories. Um, first of all, uh, today is a very, very important day for the Bermuda College. And on behalf of the Board of Governors, it gives me great pleasure to congratulate the winter class of 2021. You are really the culmination of everything that the college does as an institution. So companies produce things, the college produces successful students. And so on behalf of the Board of Governors, we really just want to congratulate you on your fine achievement. And uh, I always look forward to this. This is one of the uh, number of things as the chairman I look forward to. Uh, it certainly brings back my own memories. Many, many years ago, I too graduated, like you, from the Bermuda College. Back then, it was only five of us, so numbers are not that important. Uh, and, uh, those of you that have seen other commencements, um, whether it's one or whether it's a hundred, uh, every one of you, I'm sure, feels a great sense of pride and accomplishment. And so do we, all of us at the, at the college, whether they be faculty, staff, or the board. We're very, very proud of you. Of course, today is, uh, as many of the uh, speakers have mentioned, really is a day of thanks. 
Of course, thank our Heavenly Father in whom all things are possible. We certainly want to thank uh, your parents, friends and supporters, of course, faculty and staff. Uh, where would you be without them? And where would the college be without them? They are the, they are the front line. Uh, they are the folks who really help to get the job done and we're very grateful for all of their efforts in helping you in the journey of success. We also uh, would be remiss of me if I didn't also thank the government of Bermuda. And the government has provided not only financial support over these many years, which is critical uh, to allowing as many students as possible to attend the college, but also they've been very uh, good supporters. Uh, so initiatives, policies, procedures that the board and the college wants to introduce. And as we ourselves as an institution journey into new, uh, new opportunities, Allied Health being one of the recent ones that we've entered into, they've been great supporters of us. And we have a fantastic minister uh, who we're very thankful uh, for his continuous support and helping us to grow and become and reach our full potential as, a, as an organization. I would also like to thank our speakers uh, who, in their own way, made us think about uh, purpose um, and, and I think reflected on their personal journeys here at the college, as well as talk about things in the future, forward looking, what perhaps some, some words of wisdom they can impart towards you as you continue on in your journey. This is not the end, this is very much the beginning of your journey in life. So I, I, I thought it would be helpful to really jot down a few, a few of the words uh, that different speakers said today. Um, so I'll just, I'll just mention some, excuse me if I go on, go on a bit. Um, no, no particular order. New normal, journey, challenge, achievements, purpose, appreciate, change, barriers, adaptability, creativity, resilience, legacy, future possibilities, and opportunity. And uh, if any of my staff were here today, they'll know that I'm a big fan of opportunity. I think um, one of the words we need to see more of in our country. So all of those things, of course, are going to mean in some ways the same thing, but perhaps different things, because each one of you have personal experiences here at the college and in life, and all of those words are, are going to have some very, very special meaning towards you, um, because you've had to journey through all of those in some way, shape, or form. And uh, it very much, for me, culminated in my own mind um, that, 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 that I, I really don't want to talk about a certain word, so I won't. As Dr. Green knows we are in a certain new normal, as I'll call it, but I'm looking forward to the old normal. Uh, I'm tired, quite frankly, of this new normal. Whether we ever can go back, I don't know. In some ways, we certainly will change forever. Uh, but, but these are all very important uh, words for you to think about. Um, and really uh, have a sense of achievement in terms of where you, where you come uh, to this day. Uh, this is a wonderful day for you. You should be celebrating with your parents and friends. I'm sure you will when you leave, uh, when you leave the college. Um, and we certainly wish you well. Of course, um, many of you will be continuing your education. Um, you're at the college, whether you're overseas, or you may be going into the workforce. As one of our speakers mentioned, um, you, what are you going to do for Bermuda? You're a graduate of the college, you're alumni, uh, so we certainly hope that you will continue to support the college and give back in, in, in whatever way that you can. But what are you going to do for Bermuda? You have uh, an opportunity to mold and shape the future of our country. Uh, you may not realize it, when, you know, when I graduated, uh, I was 20 years old, had some ideas of what I wanted to do. But clearly didn't, didn't think about the bigger picture. Um, but I've been on the board since 2009. Never thought I'd be here this long. But um, I'd encourage all of you, think about what your place will be in, in this continued success. You have a part to play, and uh, hopefully you will continue to develop yourself uh, along the way and continue the journey that you started on. So once again, on behalf of the uh, Board of Governors, uh, I would like to thank you and congratulate you for all of your efforts and for this special day. 
I hope you really enjoyed. Uh, spend some time with those who supported you. Show your appreciation to them. Um, because you may not understand this, but it really does mean a lot to them. And uh, you have success, you have success. So I would much like to thank you once again and uh, wish you well in your future. And uh, don't forget about the colors. Come back. So with those few words, thank you very much. Before I go, I would like to present a small thank you to our speaker, Ms. Hill Evans. Thank you for your words of encouragement and your personal journey. Very impressive. Thank you. Thank you.